Hello, and welcome to the University of Trinidad and Tobago's presentation of graduates for 2020 and 2021. This inaugural event, the first at the university's flagship campus at Tamina, celebrates the achievements of our graduates who have worked hard through many obstacles, including the biggest challenge so far, this pandemic, to achieve their degrees. Let's begin the proceedings by joining in with the singing of the national anthem of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Ms. Melissa Messiah, former president of the Executive UTT Student Guild, will now lead us in the invocation. Good day, everyone. Can we please bow our heads for our prayer? O Supreme One, origin of all being, we thank you for giving us another day as we gather here to celebrate UTT's presentation of graduate ceremony. Give us a keen understanding of the importance of the role that graduates of UTT, the National University, have in the development of our communities and Trinidad and Tobago by extension. Give us faith, courage, and wisdom to fulfill our purpose and promise as students and graduates of UTT. Show us how to effectively serve you so that all of our education, knowledge, and skills may find true fulfillment as we learn to do your will. May we ever be aware in everything that we do that knowledge comes from learning and wisdom comes from you. Thank you, O Supreme One. Now, let us bow our heads in a moment of silence for those members of the UTT family who have passed. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Messiah. And now, the President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago and Chancellor of the University of Trinidad and Tobago, Her Excellency Paula May Weeks, will declare the ceremony open for the conferment of certificates, diplomas, and degrees. As Chancellor of the University, I declare the ceremony open for the conferment of certificates, diplomas, and degrees by the authority of the Academic Council and the Board of Governors. Thank you, Your Excellency. I now invite the Chairman of the Board of Governors of the University of Trinidad and Tobago, Professor Clement Imbert, to address you with some words of welcome. Good day. Although this is a virtual ceremony and we are not assembled in one place, I need to recognize the following persons. Her Excellency, Paula May Weeks, ORTT, President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago and Chancellor of the University of Trinidad and Tobago, UTT. Members of the Board of Governors of UTT, Professor Prakash Prasad, President of UTT, Senior Academic and Corporate Staff of UTT, members of the Student Guild and other students of UDT, graduates and graduates of 2020 and 2021, 
family members and friends of our graduates, members of the viewing public. Welcome to the University of Trinidad and Tobago's 2020 and 2021 virtual graduation ceremonies, the first ever for the university. As a most auspicious occasion on the university's calendar, graduation not only recognizes a very significant academic achievement of our students and graduates in their commitment to excellence, it also celebrates the triumphs we have faced amid the ongoing pandemic. We postponed last year's graduation ceremonies 2020, which normally would have taken place in November in the hope that we could have had live face-to-face -face events sometime in 2021. But as time went, this proved to be impossible. We cannot postpone anymore so we have combined last year's and this year's ceremonies. You have made history in your own way by not only graduating from a prestigious institution within the world of academia, but also by doing so in unprecedented times in an unprecedented way. While we continue to collectively grapple with this situation into which we were indiscriminately thrust, you have managed to pre persevere in the face of adversity, the kind which has not been witnessed for a hundred years. UGT was literally forced to go online overnight, a transition we successfully managed with aplomb. And your adaptation and level of determination cannot go unnoticed, as this was no mean feat. The COVID-19 pandemic has taught us to, to be resilient in the presence of struggle it is expected that this experience will assist in strengthening your capacity for championing continuous development in your community and by extension, our country, a customary feature of the UTT graduate. In spite of the impact of the pandemic, I have no doubt of the quality of the many opportunities to which you were exposed as a student at UTT. Learning under the watchful eyes of world-class faculty embedded in each of you the ability to think critically, a quality necessary to spearhead the much needed transformational change in our society. I encourage you to ensure this skill does not wither, but to allow it to manifest into a continued drive for success. Now in our 18th year, UTD has strived from inception to fulfill its mandate of contributing to the growth and entrepreneurial spirit in Trinidad and Tobago. Through its particular approach to pedagogy across all, all disciplines, UTD has played a role in revolutionizing not only the way its students learn, but also the way in which this knowledge is then applied in the real world. Despite the pandemic, UGT has graduated about 1,700 students each year in 2020 and 2021, giving a total of well over 22,000 students since our inception. Our students, staff, and the university have continued to attain great heights. They have excelled over the years, and the last two years have been no exception. A few examples from 2020 and 2021 would suffice. Both UTT Patriots men and women football teams qualified to represent Trinidad and Tobago at the International University Sports Federation playoffs in Mexico in 2022. UTT's student team won the first IGOV hackathon and Pradesh Budu Singh, BSC Utilities, won the UK Institution of Engineering and Technology International Student Prize in 2020. And Vanessa Bagwat, a diploma student no less, made it the second time in a row in 2021. A diploma student winning a prize open to undergraduate students internationally. That is a most remarkable feat. These achievements say a lot of, about our students, 
and the UGT programs. On staff, Dr. Miguel Jagasa was awarded a U.S. patent for his invention of the therapeutic exercise contour support. Doctors Umesh Prasad and Jorel Biznath are collaborating with other parties to create the Roll-Up Digital Steel Pad, a portable and easily stored instrument for practice. Imran Jan, senior sports officer, was appointed head coach of the CPL Knight Riders, and Dr. Marcus Ramdova was awarded a research grant from the U.S. Animal and Plant Health Inspection Services for his project, Safeguarding Caribbean Food Security from the Threat of the Giant African Snail. Not to leave out our Board of Governors, Professor Hollis Liverpool, the mighty Chokdas, was bestowed the Order of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, the country's highest award. A UTT team implemented the Proficiency Diagnostic Assessment, the PDA, an assessment tool for CSEC students to determine and improve proficiency in English and math. UTT Outreach, in collaboration with Atlantic LNG, garnered Best Social Investment Project for Corporate Social Responsibility in the Energy Industry. UTT has signed several MOUs with public and private partners locally and internationally including our own University of the West Indies in St. Augustine. In particular, UTT has been collaborating with UWI over the past two years in the area of carbon capture and storage and CO2 enhanced oil recovery. The Ministry of Energy and Energy Industries has granted UTT and UWI almost a million TT dollars each to develop a storage atlas for heritage fields and BPTT has committed to provide UDT and UWI with 50,000 US dollars each for a storage atlas for selected fields in the Columbus Basin. UDT is also partnering with the NGC Group in projects in climate change mitigation and with New Gen Energy for research in the production of green hydrogen. UDT got a grant of about six million TT dollars from the IDB for training and capacity building for the UTT Animation Hub. UTT is always looking to offer new programs in areas of national and regional importance. For example, UTT's MSc in Energy Engineering with a specialization in renewable energy was introduced in January 2021 and attracted about 50 students. A regional online master's in public health is in the pipeline for launch and will be coupled with the existing master's in health administration as a dual degree program. And UTT has played its part in the COVID-19 pandemic. A diploma in respiratory therapy started in September 2021 with 20 students. And Dr. Nicole Ramlachan, a geneticist on UTT staff, has been a key figure in public dissemination of information on COVID-19 and related issues. The university is proud to have graduates who contribute in the national context. However, they possess, possess skills garnered from an internationally recognized education. I urge you as graduates to engender a proclivity for not only personal growth, but an affinity for national pride, as this is currently needed more than ever. This attribute has emerged as a priority as traditional work transforms due to technological advances and of course the current pandemic from which we have learned so much. With the deceleration in world trade, there's an even more profound need for self-sustainability, an ideology long supported by the National University, the University of Trinidad and Tobago. In this regard, we encourage you to be our inventors, our agro-processors, our designers, our farmers, etc., to be the ones who rise to new challenges in the pursuit of being self-reliant. In closing, I join with the Chancellor, members of the Board of Governors, the wider university community, your families, friends, and well-wishers in extending heartfelt congratulations to the graduation classes of 2020 and 2021. 
May you use your moment in time to acknowledge this momentous occasion, to appreciate all those who have helped you on this journey, and continue onward on your journey to excellence. God bless you and thank you. The University of Trinidad and Tobago not only recognizes the success of its students, but also honors national luminaries in their respective fields. So it is fitting that at this time, we acknowledge the university's 2020 honorees. Mr. Edward Hart, Honorary Doctor of Humane Letters. Mr. Lincoln Phillips, Honorary Doctor of Humane Letters. Mr. John Sijigat, Honorary Doctor of Sciences. Mr. L. Anthony Watkins, Honorary Doctor of Laws. I now invite Dr. L. Anthony Watkins to deliver his remarks. Your Excellency, Ms. Paula May Weeks, ORTT, President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago and Chancellor of UTT, Professor Prakash Pesad, President UTT, Senior Academic and Corporate Staff of UTT, members of the Student Guild and other students of UTT, graduates of 2020 and 2021, family members and friends, members of the media, members of the viewing public, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a grand day, and I am certain that you feel a justifiable sense of pride and accomplishment and I congratulate you for your efforts, commitment, dedication, and achievements. A sense of unease, dissatisfaction, and unmet needs can be powerful triggers for action. Somewhere in your past, you felt a need to learn, to achieve, to be accredited with an academic qualification. Today, that need has been satisfied. You have achieved and arrived at your mountaintop. Bear in mind, though, that a satisfied need is not a motivator of behavior. So where do you go from here? What is your next unfulfilled desire, your next unmet need, the next thing that will spur you onto action? I recall with fondness and a persistent sense of delight, an encounter that I had with my social psychology professor, John Arrowwood, at the University of Toronto in 1969. As a second year student, things happened, and I had not been to classes for a couple of weeks. And I happened to bump into Professor Arrowwood one day, and he said to me, well, Watkins, I haven't seen you at class for a couple of weeks. I stammered, stuttered, and said to him, well, Prof, you know, I, I have a couple assignments, some research papers that I was doing, and I was really sort of in the library working at that. And he smiled at me and said, ah, Watkins, maybe you're right. One ought not to let one's classes get in the way of one's education. I was stunned. And 52 years later, I still remember that. I have never forgotten it. How will you envision and approach your education? Past cannot know past. Future cannot create future. What you have, what each one of us has, is a now. A now in which to reflect, to decide, and to act. How you climb a mountain is more important than reaching the top. Robert Persig, in his groundbreaking novel, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, shares the following. Mountains should be climbed with as little effort as possible and without desire. The reality of your own nature should determine the speed. If you become restless, speed up. If you become winded, slow down. You climb the mountain in an equilibrium between restlessness and exhaustion. When you are no longer thinking ahead, each footstep is not just a means to an end, but a unique event in itself. This leaf has jagged edges. This rock looks loose. 
These are the things that we should notice anyway. To live only for some future goal is shallow. It is the size of the mountain which sustain life, not the top. Here is where things grow. But of course, without the top, you cannot have any sides. It is the top that defines the sides. This is a cautionary note, well worth considering. Might it be that we are so consumed by the desire to climb the mountain to get to the top that we miss the meaningful experiences and learnings along the way? When you are no longer thinking ahead, each footstep is not just a means to an end, but a unique event in itself. We are called to be in a place of dynamic equilibrium, to blend our focus on multiple things, to negotiate contrasting demands. It, it is part of the duality and plurality and uncertainty of nature, that paradox of creation. How do we experience this duality, this paradox of nature? Today is the end of your life as you used to know it. But today, is the beginning of your life as it will be. Today is the end of your past, but today is the beginning of your future. As you live and learn, as you seek to satisfy your unmet needs, your unsatisfied desires, as you dream of the mountaintop, be ever conscious of the sides of the mountain. In all of this, who you are matters. How you live and learn matters. Persig reminds us, the reality of your own nature should determine the speed. If you become restless, speed up. If you become winded, slow down. You climb the mountain in an equilibrium between restlessness and exhaustion. Nature confronts us with the dynamic cycles and seasons of life, inviting us to dance to its diverse rhythms. The variations and contrasts are as perplexing as they are real. Water, life generating, gentle, smooth, soothing, cleansing, thirst quenching, yet rough, turbulent, treacherous, and life taking. The wind, the very air that we breathe, gentle, refreshing, calming, and cooling, yet wicked, wild, and destructive. Both of them in their duality, in their plurality, eroding relentlessly, but building quietly and steadily in their seasons, in their varying rhythms. I return to a question that I posed earlier given that we ought not to let our classes get in the way of our education. How will you envision and approach your education? Allow me to suggest. Take the time to discover your nature. Find your rhythm. Appreciate your cycles. Welcome your seasons. Celebrate your mountaintops. They provide new perspectives, but they are not the end game. See and seek value in your down in the valley experiences. Valleys are not places from which you should seek to escape quickly. In valleys, refreshing streams of water flow. In valleys, there's protection and shelter. In valleys, there are opportunities to reflect and recharge. And most of all, valleys provide us with a view of the mountaintop, the desire the aspiration, the possibility. So as you head to the top of your next mountain, bear in mind that how you climb a mountain is more important than reaching the top. It is the sides of the mountain which sustain life, not the top. Viktor Frankl, in his book, Man's Search for Meaning, wrote the following. Success cannot be pursued. It must ensue. And it only does so as the unintended side effect of one's dedication to a cause greater than oneself. The mountaintop is about you, but that is not all. The cause is about others and the society. Rest in your valleys. 
Take the time to experience the size of the mountain as you climb to the top. And in so doing, discover that cause that is greater than yourself. Thank you all. We will now pay homage to the 2021 honorees. Mr. Ferdinand Ferreira, Honorary Doctor of Humane Letters. Mr. Dominic Kaliposad, Honorary Doctor of Letters. Mr. Jones P. Madeira, Honorary Doctor of Letters. Mr. Wendell Motley, Honorary Doctor of Humane Letters. I now invite Dr. Ferdinand Ferreira to deliver his remarks. Her Excellency, Mrs. Paula May Weeks, ORTT, President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago and Chancellor of the UTT. Professor Prakash Prasad, President UTT. Senior academic and corporate staff of UTT. Members of the Students Guild and other students of UTT. Graduates of 2020 and 2021. Follow me members and friends, members of the media, members of the viewing public, ladies and gentlemen. Let me first of all express my sincere thanks and appreciation to the UTT for bestowing this prestigious honorary degree on me. Nothing can be more rewarding than the recognition of your service, whatever form it may take, to your fellow men by, and by extension your country. There cannot and never will be a substitute for the good citizen. Patriotism to one's country is not and should not be a negotiable item. In the words of Nelson Mandela, quote, the ideals I cherish, our fondest dreams and fervent hopes, may not be realized in our lifetime, but that besides the point. The knowledge that in your day, you did your duty and lived up to the expectations of your fellow men is in itself a rewarding experience and a magnificent achievement. What is even more gratifying to me is the fact that the university, even at my advanced age of 89 plus, did not wait to send the honor by the wombs. I wish to congratulate my fellow honorees from both the regional and local universities. They too, like myself, have been honorably rewarded for their patriotism and their contribution to their fellow men and the nation. Most of them have already publicly expressed their thanks and appreciation and offer their advice to the graduates, the beneficiaries of this massive investment of taxpayers in their future and by extension, that of our nation. I merely wish to remind you today's graduates of the words of wisdom from the father of the nation at that pre-independence rally. Cool. Dr. Eric Williams, to your tender and loving hands, the future of the nation is entrusted. In your innocent hearts, the pride of the nation is enshrined. On your scholastic development, the salvation of the nation is dependent. This was almost 60 years ago, just as valid today as it was yesterday. Our country during this period has had seven prime ministers, three of them coming out of our regional universities. Mr. Patrick Manning, Mrs. Kamala Passard Bissessa, and Dr. Keith Rowley. The other three, Dr. Eric Williams, Oxford University, Mr. A. N. R. Robinson, Oxford University, and Mr. Basley Opande, an English trained attorney. We have been very fortunate so far, in spite of whatever negative encounters that might have overtaken us, to elect leaders, whatever their shortcomings that have not taken us down the calamitous road that has overtaken so many other countries that obtained their independence after the Second World War. We were very fortunate to have a caliber of public servants, professionals, and otherwise man our institutions during the most critical period of nation building, the transitional period from colonialism to independence most of them products of the colonial system. It is against this background that the young and not so young graduates must assess and evaluate their future role in the society. 
that again, in the words of the father of the nation, on your scholastic development, the salvation of the nation is dependent. Will you betray this trust and confidence that the nation has invested in you? You have been given excellent advice by past and present honorees, like myself, on your mission to success. You have been warned, go. A degree is not an automatic passport for a job, but rather a door to that largely unraveled world of knowledge. You have been informed and advised of the resourcefulness and perseverance of the great innovators and inventors of modern industrialization. Their magnificent discoveries and achievements in science and technology. From Orville Wright and Henry Ford to Steve Jobs, Elon Musk, and Mark Zuckerberg. You have been advised by honorees from both the regional and local universities of the absolute necessity for your abiding commitment. Whatever discipline of your choice, your prime responsibility is service to your fellow men and patriotism to your country. What new can an honorary, a graduate from Oxford University, now being transformed from doctor to honorary doctor? What can I tell you? As you proceed on your separate missions, to play your part in a world in which almost everything is moving towards the fourth and fifth revolution, a world in which mankind is so obsessed with wealth and materialism, they have almost forgotten who was responsible for the enormous unprecedented success, the freedoms, the liberties, prosperities we enjoy today. The great liberators have now been sacrificed on the altar of vulgar accumulative wealth, materialism, science, and technology. The ones who took us out of bondage, slavery, and indentureship, who over the last three or four decades brought over one billion people out of poverty and squalor into a standard of living that we never thought was possible. From the Reformation and the Renaissance, right up to the current leaders of the Asian tiger, Africa, and the Latin American liberators. Let's remember these revolutionaries, even the tyrants and dictators. It was the vision and mission of these visionaries politicians, statesmen, and freedom fighters. Whatever their political philosophy, it is to them more than anyone else that we owe that eternal debt of gratitude. That should be the guiding factor, the compass that directs us along life's unpredictable journey, never forgetting that in spite of man's inhumanity to man, man is still man's best friend. And this brings me to the current role of our universities, both regional and local. As I respectfully ask, are they filling the role in spite, are they filling the role in spite of their current ratings of producing and delivering the quality of political and public leadership? The standards of morality, integrity, and productivity required by us. As a small nation, very resourceful nation to meet the demanding standards of our competitors, to earn the respect and admiration of a ruthless, competitive, unforgiving world that do not suffer fools gladly. Are we satisfied with the standards of behavior, integrity, and productive capacity of our leaders and our public servants, who comprise generally graduates from our regional and local institutes of higher learning? Recent comments coming from Archbishop Jason Gordon, re bribery and corruption at almost every level of the society must be a source of concern to our universities, to our young graduates who again, the salvation of the nation depends. Singapore's progress, its vow, its vitality is assured because the administrative machine works. There is no grit. You don't have to grease somebody's to crank up the machine. We must keep it that way. This is today's challenge of all our institutions of higher learning, inclusive of the UTT. If in fact something is wrong, it is your responsibility to get it right. As I proceed to my final destiny, where my voice will be forever silent, 
and my pen shall no longer be my sword of expression. As the honorary dean of Doxford, all I can ask you, my fellow citizens, in the words of the mighty Stalin, who stand up for something or you will die for nothing. Yours is the responsibility today, as was mine yesterday, to follow in the philosophical words of Nelson Mandela. Follow the ideals you choose. Your fondest dreams and fervent hopes may not be realized in your lifetime, but the knowledge that in your day, you did your duty and lived up to the expectations of your fellow men is a rewarding experience and a magnificent achievement. In conclusion, I've given 70 odd years of my life in the service of my country, expecting neither award or reward. I'm however sincerely gratified by your overwhelming generosity in converting a docker into an honorary doctor of letters. Thank you, thank you, and may God continue to bestow his bountiful blessings on the university and all those responsible for ensuring the success of all our learning institutions. After all, like Eton and Harrow, Oxford and Cambridge, that produced and delivered the leaders of the most powerful empire in the history of the world, your responsibility is not to build empire leaders, but to mold the character, the morality and integrity of our next generation of leaders. So that in the words of the scripture, posterity will echo with pride and joy, how great thou art. Thank you very much. We now present the graduates receiving certificates, diplomas, and degrees. Chancellor, I ask you to admit these candidates from these academic programs having fulfilled the requirements of the university to the certificate, diploma, and undergraduate degrees for which they are presented. Graduates of the University of Trinidad and Tobago, by the authority vested in me, I admit you to the certificate, diploma, and the graduate degrees for which you are to be presented and receive you as members of our society. Class of 2020, Certificate in Food Technology. Lionel Lawrence Douglas. Karen Keegan Ford. Christian Kijan Ford. Navin Sheldon Gosain. Ian Gross. Shania Ashleen Hernandez. Tanika Chanel Hernandez. Jadiel Andrew Jacob. Tyra Mia James. Amiri Anton Mitchell. Santi Isis Mitchell, Rinell Aquila Murphy, Kenesha Candice Paul, Shanice Christina Serret, Kijana Abraham Sungwai, Teresa Sharon Tiloxing. Class of 2021, Certificate in Food Technology. Sarafina Leticia Britton. Alison Campbell. Ariana Delaney Charles. Taisha Kroll. Mackenzie Cameron Harry. Patricia Jewel Hales. Sue Salma Johnson. Natisha Deborah Lewis. Derek Dexter Ned. Kimberly Usher Ramcharan. Tisha Kazian Ransom. Jesse Patrice Ruiz, 
Jenny Marie Francis Samuel. Shania Seychelle Sandy. Vanessa Alana Simmons. Samira Hope Sinanan. Class of 2020, Diploma in Agriculture. Akela Aria Adolphus. Valiska Anasha Badlu. Brian T. Bahador. Lisi Caleb Bascom. Jada Imani Chinapu. Kyle Clive Godar. Shania Jade Jagannath. Anika Daniela Mungo. Nehemiah Joseph Miru. Della Ashayet Obika. Elena Marie Osmo Philip George. Nirmala Ragunanan. Javon Dilgan Ramsaran. Kenesha Faith Scantlebury. Brittany Shivani Silal Singh. Vasu Dale Siram Lal. Dwayne Sherwin Simon. Lindsay Vidwetti Singh. Anil Anthony Su. Kumar Suklal. Jude Keston Victor. Justin Luke Victor Jr. Jovan Voto. Class of 2021, Diploma in Agriculture. Tahila Joel Abraham. Ansel Kerion Adams. Celicia Tabia Adams. Annalisa Bennett. Daniel Michael Bob. Therese Paris Bob. Marsha Bullen Jones. Aliyah Tamara Burke. Tyrese Shaquille Constantine. Caleb Samuel Kajo. Sirlis Shaniqua Dabo. Kadesh Jairus Dixon. Shavella Selena George. Shanice LeShawn Grant. Kershell Desiree Hosford. K. Harry Kelonjai Isaac. Ariel Shanice Jack. Luana Aquila James. Saul Donal Joani. Joshua Joseph John. Hiralal Kanai. Damon Emmanuel Lewis. Peter Raphael Marcano. Alia J. Marcel. Martin Gruff Massey. Kern Medina. Lakeisha Nyla Mary Mirez. Tamika Lirian Mills. Abdul Kalik Muhammad. Betty Tamara Ojirali. Nicholas Ramlochan. 
Delicia Martha Simon, Amrit Suku, Mihail Kevon Wadali, Christopher Kirk Wahid, Latoya Ayana Williams, Class of 2020, Diploma in Animal Health Production and Veterinary Public Health. Abija Sigoni Batis. Amrit Bagalu. Chantel Kimoni Foresta. McLean Tristan Francis. Malaika Rebecca Garraway. Kirby Cullen Gill. Hannah Courtney White. Shania Christiana John. Liana Sira Keith. Shamila T. Martin. Nigel Hemraj Mathura. Nardia L. Nemhard. Larissa Savitri Raj. Shari H. Ryan. Class of 2021, Diploma in Animal Health Production and Veterinary Public Health. Stacia Sarah Ali. Ravita Bala. Desmond Lemuel Batiste, Kiane Denika Bordi, Cordell Collymore, Ronald Kishan Gopal, Satesh Kyle Harrell, Christopher Ronald Howard. Wendy Sarah Hansalandi, Jeshel Riza Jeremiah, Esther Nadia John, Brittany E. Mahabir, Antonio Maharaj, Janiqua Tikwana Maynard. Aitisha Antoinette Magichi, Ibrahim S. Muhammad, Michael Mathias Pajote, Jenny Devi Ragunanan, Amanda Eve Ramlal, Nathan Aidan Roberts, Kiris Samantha Sami, Kimberly Sitaram, Kafia J. Solomon, Jadel Jonathan Suklal Singh, Christian Laura Suknanan, Colin Chad Stewart. Vincia Leona Sturge. Collis A. Williams. Class of 2020, Diploma in Food Technology. Nikisha Mariah Adolfi. Deja Alia Aguilera. Onila Keziah Ahu. Khadija Aisha Andrews, Shabaka Suresh Budu, Lushana Denique Keto, Gerard Anslem Celestine, Keisha Anastasia Cornell, Joshua Lancelot Defenthala. Stefan Paul Gomez, 
Malik Matthew Harper. Jada Sophia Harrington. Michaeline Joanne Howell Paul. Deja Vera Jones. Sadiki Jones. Kayla Azuba Lynch. Eon Alithia McGregor. Priya Morgan. Khalifa Poyabab. Kejal Kadambini Sahabir. Bradley Joshua Saunders. Naomi Tamaya Stafford. Erlene Bernadette St. Louis. Crystal Tiffany Sutherland. Tanisha Thomas. Kathy Mayer Thompson. Class of 2021, Diploma in Food Technology. Ananda Sharda Bahal. Judy Sherlan Corby Siraj. Akisha Dominique Craig. Christian Kishan Ford. Ian Gross. Shannon Natalie Guy. Shania Ashleen Hernandez. Jadiel Andrew Jacob. Brittany McIntosh. Santi Isis Mitchell. Kavita Kemraji Mutur. Rinell Akila Murphy. Kenesha Candice Paul. Michael Samuel Kwaku. Kajal Sastra Ragbir. Daniela Deniel Richards. Jodel Tyreek Roberts. Josiah Kalik Robinson. Onika N. Romani. Akil Jamil Sinclair. Siobhan Naomi Thomas. Class of 2020, Diploma in Forestry. Majida Abdul Kabir. Renard Renvi Ramnath. Candice Terry Sinclair. Class of 2021, Diploma in Forestry. Kadeem Ali. Stacia Amira Bash. Shania Devisha Marcel. Katoya A. Otley. Shinilan Alexandra Lexi Paris. Adana P. Richardson. Bindi Sudath. Sunesha Maya Singh. Class of 2020, National Engineering Technician Diploma in Mechanical Engineering. Umari Stiley Alexis. JL J. Ali. Sapphire Angelina Ali. Balthazar Mark Andrews. Hayden D. Anand. Ayele Jiron Ashby. Marvin Beard. Andy Balraj. 
Christian Sanjeev Basant. Sarah Marion Bihari. Rondell Benjamin. Megan Ciara Benny. Sachin Dylan Bagat. Lee Anthony Bouye. Nari Bridgela. Shrika Nicole Burnett. Nathaniel Kasim. Keon Josiah Charles. Timothy Lee Chin Chok. Chantel Christian. Elisha Stefan Clark. Ronald Anthony Clark. Siobhan Marvin Collins. Leonardo Stefan Copilla. Casey L. Cross. Nicholas G. Wan Danraj. Aaron Jason Dindin. Larry Dwarica. Rondell Samuel Edwards. Brandon David Fernandez. Kai Alexander Fonset. Colin Joshua Franklin. Janelle Alana Garcia. Samuel Nathaniel Gukul. Josiah Jonathan Gomez. Justin Ajani Gruden. Jordan Salem Hackett. Sean Ravindra Haricharan. Justin Jivan Haripasad. Joseph Hart. Kenyan Atiba Hines. Navin Choki Hussein. Relon Daniel Ironside. Clinton Glenroy James. Josiah Rishon James. Misra Janki. Sarah Joda. Jamil Tyreek Jofil. Trey Tyreek Joseph. Imran Saeed Juman. Rayon Katan. Adrian Kadaru. Nigel Damian Khan. Wayne Dillon Khan. Brandon Kyle Krishnanan. Brandon Michael Lacroix. Aaron Kareem Lori. Zachary Nathaniel Lewis. Eric Joel Mahabir. Leric Lawrence Mahabir. Nikhil Andre Mahabir. Dawn Shivanan Maraj. Jelani Daniel Maitland. Gerard Paul Matadin. Stephen Israel Matthews. Isaiah Lyndon Medford. Aaron Mark Mitchell. Nicholson McGregor Modest. 
Alisa Shamila Mohammed, Aziza Amira Mohammed, Ryan E. Mohammed, Miranda Munilal Singh, Dylan Mongal Singh, Dion Naipol, Kavir Basdeo Nanan, Randel Krishna Narain, Shania Alia Nimchan, Christopher Kaidan Ultan Ali, Christian Antonio Pajot, Vidya Pasad. Kenvin Daniel Peters, Gerard Sean Popan, Arjish Ragunath Singh, Nanda Nakita Ragubir, Ronnie Ramlakan, Nicholas Ramluchan. Avinda Prashant Ramlogan, Christian Reden Ramlogan, Shivish Ramnanan, Dimitri Lionel Ramnarain, Rihanna Jasudra Ramnarain, Ronnie Rampasat. Dejel Ramsundar, Jessica Natalia Rangu, Christopher Rasman, Samuel Jude Rawlings, Jason Patrick Reed, D'Angelo Mikhail Ross. Luen Elvet Ross, Tyrone Che Samuel, Sahil Satar, Aaron Sipol Singh, Dylan Sipasad, Anil Siviram. Shi Rishon Singh, Vishesh Sukhdeo, Jarel Mikhail Sylvester, Akil Nathaniel Thomas, Mandela Josiah Thomas, Joseph Yud Thornhill. Rush Alexander Wallace, Carisia Tracy Williams, Kerry Nicole Williams, Ulster Prince Wilson, Jejun Joel Young, Class of twenty twenty one. National Engineering Technician Diploma in Mechanical Engineering. Adrian Nicholas Ali. Issa Ali. Kadi Javed Ali. Akil Samuel Archibald. Chinua Osi Ashantiwa Lewis. Venice Esther Ashton, David Daniel Atkinson, Kemraj Babwa, Katrina Bechan, Larry Nathaniel Batiste Jr., Kester Bisai. Kevin David Bagwandin, 
Alexander Darian Bula. Lalchan Bisram. Lian Shivani Budram. Dirani Bundial. Christian Anthony Boris. Keegan Matthias Boise. She Jamal Brewster. Marcus Kailash Bridgelaw. Damani Wesley Campbell. Kedel Craig Carrington. Kofi Jamal Celestin. Edward Charles. Richard Zion Charles. Shuin Dion Charles. Mikhail Chinwing. Kevin Cameron Chinyan. Dylan Karan Christopher. Jada Celine Cupid. Hezron Kamel Da Santos. Adrian Sean Debidin. Jonathan Jovan Dezin. Kezia Lucille De Silva. Nalisha Jody Dixon. Luke Sheldon Dowden. Darion Jalon Duncan. Alexander Michael Edgehill. Teron Mark Emmanuel. Iris Stefan Fortune. Romario Gajada. Jason Delon Garib. Rienzi Xavier Jaya Passat. Stephen Andrew Gonzalez. Javed Charles Gupol. Liron Juninho Guy. Turian Stanley Hagari. Marion Richard Hamilton. Jamai Marcus Harewood. Mahindar Harilal. Kimberly Harilagan. Abdullah Muhammad Hassim. Rahim Mikhail Haynes. David Joel Henry. Keanu Ray Hernandez. Kilan Joseph Hines. Abdul Rahim Iqbal Hussein. Karis Navita Jabulal. Joshua Jonathan Jadu. Vishwadan Videsh Jagru. Shivana T. James. Anderson Jr. Joseph. Ricardo Kishav Katwaru. Rajiv Khan. Mikhail Joshua Curtin. Eric Kisun. Randy Justin Lal. Makrayan Lalsi. Kia Larie. Pavati Lachman. Terry Trevian Ligol. Terry Ann Carissa Lewis. 
Ashram Vashish Maharaj. Adrian Nicholas Manohar. Atia Timaya Mark. Chelsea Nike McCarthy. Dion Jerome McKenzie. Javel Terry Mentor. Asad Sadiq Mohammed. Fahim Mohammed. Karim Miguel Mohan. Danish Daniel Muhis. Rihanna Sonali Mongu. Alisa Alicia Mo. Abiola Leah Moses. Damian Anderson Motila. Jabari Nislo Mohammed. Javid Norang. Jared Eliza Nus. Nicholas Timothy Panto. Stephen Deshawn Pascal. Kavita Paul. Videsh Pasad. Josiah David Philip. Karan Philip. Rian Livia Pickering. Brittany Selena Rugby. Lydia Brittany Ragunanan. Richard Ragunath. Crystal Angel Rambajan. Amir Arman Ramchan. Brandon Amos Ramcharan. Brandon Avidish Ramdew. Kevin Ram Ganesh. Tariq Farzan Ramjon. Jerry Tyrese Ramkalawan. Renison Adrian Ramkalawan. Jovan Daniel Ramkisun. Nathan Nathaniel Ramlogan. Ashley Sitara Ramnarai. Rima Sabrina Rampasad. Nicholas Clarence Ramratan. Brandon Ramrook. Darius Riven Ramsahai. Justin Sachin Ram Sumir. Justine Sabrina Ram Sumir. Karen Ukira Raphael. Sanib Shamel Remy. Zavik Donald Richardson. Brandon Rock. Nivash Rupchan. Kashiv Roberto Sahadeu. Sanjeev Sahadeu. Pravesh Samaru. Brandon Samuel. Matthew Joseph Sangster. Tahir Karim Sunarai. Shivanan Mahindra Siu. Darrell Sinanan. Nathaniel Ishmael Sirkisun. Ambika Sohan. Navindra Navin Suknanan. 
A.U. Abdallah Stevens. Antonio George Subero. Richard Mark Anthony Thomas. Jeanne Sachel Valentine. John Quisi Valentine. Nylon Noel Warner. Carolina Antonia Weston. Joseph Josiah Weston. Alicia Maria Williams Pierce. Vernon V. Wilson. Angel Natasha Yearwood. Class of 2020, Bachelor of Science in Agriculture and Entrepreneurship. Ezra Edmund Weston. Class of 2021, Bachelor of Science in Agriculture and Entrepreneurship. Shastri Hans Badal. Kiran Vishal Bibaki. Tonika Ornella Brewster. Jamal Siobhan Colburn. Lily Faith Mirage. Salisha Jessica Obliti. David Arnold Susanka. Rialdo Nikash Suku. Celine Tonya Suklal Singh. Class of 2020, Bachelor of Science in Agriculture and Entrepreneurship with option in Agricultural Biotechnology. Narisa Rihanna Munan. Shamara Adriana Hitcher. Robert Greg Ramcharan. Farzana Salifil Wahab. Class of 2021, Bachelor of Science in Agriculture and Entrepreneurship with option in Agricultural Biotechnology. Jamila George. Class of 2020, Bachelor of Science in Agriculture and Entrepreneurship with option in agro-processing. Kiran Adrian Singh. Class of 2021, Bachelor of Science in Agriculture and Entrepreneurship with option in agro-processing. Kamisha Cape. Karen Kajo. Class of 2021, Bachelor of Science in Agriculture and Entrepreneurship with the option in Animal Science. Sasha Victoria Goodridge. Kim Nelisha Graham. Kiza Joseph. Sasha Lane. Mark Neil Maxwell Lewis. Nathalia Keisha Maniram. Shanice Cynthia Sankar. Class of 2020, Bachelor of Science in Agriculture and Entrepreneurship with option in Crop Science. Samantha Josette Bunbury. Vinay Vishane Francis. Shanice Garner. Annalisa Candice Gosain. Jamali Tonia Waldron. Class of 2021, Bachelor of Science in Agriculture and Entrepreneurship with option in Crop Science. Sharon Anita Cumberbatch Richards. Justin Amrit Duki. Ivorine Laverne Gill Wilkinson. Sophia Dorcia Henry. 
John Tampak. Class of 2020, Bachelor of Science in Animal Science and Technology. Marie May Alexander. Kishma Marsha Anthony. Dahlia Tamar Mate. Vanessa Darian Paul. Chelsea Roseanne Phillips. Jasmine Ramratan. Class of 2021, Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Technology. Kayla Bonaparte. Priya Jagu. Jishel James. Johanna Victoria Lau. Tanisha Sherine Sixto. Kavita Sinclair. Class of 2020, Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Technology with electives in Public Health and Food Safety. Darren Kevin Douglas. Donika Deandra John. Liam Edward Lewis. Navin Sukbio. Class of 2021, Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Technology with electives in Public Health and Food Safety. Deandra Abigail Norega. Roger Wade Qual, Tamara Candice Towine, Clyde P. Wickham, Class of 2020, Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Technology with specialization in nutrition and dietetics. Vishal Diochan Bazio. Sean Donal Brave Boy. Govinda Ram Logan. McNeil O'Brien Williams. Class of 2021, Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Technology with specialization in nutrition and dietetics. Rachel Vitorine Reed. Christine Scott. As we continue, I'm pleased to present you a performance by students of the Academy for the Performing Arts in a video presentation of Savannah Grass by Kess.
As part of the university experience, students participate in various activities for self-development, expanding their knowledge or supporting university events. Upon graduating, students can voluntarily contribute to the university's network to promote interaction, encourage education, research, and commercialization of innovative ideas, and also to mentor undergraduate students through co-op training or similar work-related experiences. So now I invite all our graduates to join in the reciting of the Alumni Pledge. As alumni of the University of Trinidad and Tobago, we solemnly swear to uphold the honorable traditions of our university. Imbued by the spirit of innovation and entrepreneurship, which are at the center of UTT's mission, we will endeavor to lend creativity and passion to all that we undertake. As graduates of the National University, we also commit ourselves to the highest standards of service to our community and country. We will further strive to earn our own place among UTT's alumni who, by their devotion to these ideals, have brought recognition and honor to our alma mater. We will provide moral, intellectual, and financial support and will encourage others to attend our alma mater and thus contribute to the perpetuation of the necessary and noble work of UTT. We encourage all our students to join UTT's Alumni Association by going to the website www.u.tt slash alumni. The ceremony is almost over, but before we bid you adieu, I call upon valedictorian Ms. Chelsea Marie Benoit, Diploma in Maritime Operation with Specialization in Navigation, to deliver the valedictory address. Her Excellency, Ms. Paula May Weeks, ORTT, President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago and Chancellor of UTT, Professor Prakash Pasad, President, UCT, Senior Academic and Corporate Staff of UTT, Members of the Student Guild and other students of UTT, Graduates of 2020 and 2021, Family members and friends, members of the media, members of the viewing public, ladies and gentlemen. If you are tuned into this live, drop some flames in the chat. Hello, my fellow graduates. As my favorite artist would say, the energy is amazing. Can you believe that today you are sitting behind your screens in an area, hopefully with a great connection, celebrating your inestimable achievements? Today, I am tremendously humbled and honored to be your 2021 valedictorian. As I begin, let me say a hearty congratulations to the classes of 2020 and 2021. We have come a long way, and because of that, please take a short second to give yourself a pat on the back. Today, I am not here as a model student, but as the embodiment of what it is to be UCT. Just like you, I have cried, threatened countless times to drop out, been despondent and wondered if it would be worth it in the end. Clearly it was, because I stand before you at this moment. I have also celebrated, accomplished, persisted, and worked hard to achieve my end goal, not only to graduate, but to be a successful adult. The time at UTT allowed some of us to develop leadership in various positions. Personally, I have held a few of these positions and participated in community outreach, achieving academic excellence, which would not have been possible without self-discipline, diligence, drive, and the grace of God. Just as the setting is not ideal today, we are not perfect, but we have worked diligently to achieve success, and that is all we need. Bittersweet 
is probably a word we can use to describe this moment as we reminisce on the good times we've had during our course of study. No, I am not referring to the countless times you would have won all fours or tried to cheat, but the moments when we plotted with our colleagues to ask for a deadline extension or stayed back late to put together a PowerPoint presentation due the next day. I personally have a back injury due to my intense passion for tug of war during freshman games after being dragged across the San Fernando campus. What about the times when we've cried after an exam, thinking we have failed or pulling out pieces of our hair after working with inefficient group members? Yes, you can say those bad words in your mind now. Nonetheless, these are all the memories that contribute to the love we have and will forever hold in our hearts for the University of Trinidad and Tobago. And if you believe that there's another institution that puts holistic development at the forefront of your education, then you must be deranged. I wish I could be wearing a shark shark jersey today because we lead and others follow. But it would be remiss of me not to say that campus feuding is real. Though my loyalties may lie with the sharks, I am always proud to hear. And if you're here right now, let me see you represent the Raging Bulls, the Lions, Phoenixes, Trillers, the Corinthians, Wolves, Giants, Eagles, and Knights. Battle to be the best campus. But we know we wouldn't be as great as we are without each other. A symbiotic relationship, I'd like to call it. Dear lecturers, we are sorry from the bottom of our hearts for the stresses we may have caused you. But we also want to thank you for staying devoted to our purpose, especially those at the Center for Maritime and Ocean Studies who would have experienced my annoying ability to constantly second guess myself and cry each time I thought I could not do my absolute best. It has paid off. Additionally, let us not forget that we all would have experienced a shift that we definitely did not see coming, the COVID-19 pandemic. As unprecedented as it was, there's a lesson I believe we should all understand. The next chapter of our lives should be a complete metamorphosis. We are the students that overcame the transposition in the world during the most crucial time of our programs. From living on Zoom, power outages, and frustrated lecturers, to extra online quizzes and eye fatigue. We also had to commit to being focused on our goal. Temptations from the highly interesting Instagram lives had us thinking, well, I want a pool in my room, or saying, giddy up, don't stop during exams. And don't forget clearing your Tuesdays to watch Vibes with Voicey, like it's no one's business, while our assignments stared at us from a minimized tab. Don't be embarrassed. I was there too. But it was not distracting enough to keep us from remaining disciplined. At least we bloomed, unlike those susu schemes. All of this to say that it is only fitting that we cross this threshold into the new era of our lives with a transformed attitude, character, determination, and the desire to soar through calamity. Like caterpillars, there were times when we thought the world was over, but we pushed through the cocoon and became butterflies. In this season of transformation, commit to undergoing a full metamorphosis by taking all the lessons you have learned, the memories, failures, and adversity, and use it to become the new you, the certified, degreed, mastered you, because as graduates, we have transfigured. We have navigated through so much as students, but completed our voyages successfully. And if anyone can talk our navigation, it's me. Mahatma Gandhi once said that you have to be the change that you wish to see in this world. As we go forward, 
I challenge myself and all graduates to use everything we have learned to transform our industries and the national community. For me, it is my aspiration to be the best captain hailing from Trinidad and Tobago and by extension, the Caribbean, augment the sea bridge, ameliorate the hardships of our seafarers and skyrocket our maritime sector. However, I cannot do this without transforming the criteria and breaking boundaries as I did today as your valedictorian. To the Institute of Criminology and Public Safety, you must be very elated that there's already a vacancy. Congratulations to the future commissioner of police, who I know will one day come from UTT. To the doctors, teachers, engineers, performers, animators, farmers, and designers, I know that this is just the beginning of your journey. Make it your own. Let me inform you, my fellow graduates and students, that it is your duty to bolster the national community as we are the product of a well-curated education system. We are the breath of fresh air that the country has been waiting for. We are poised to give back and contribute to the sustainability of our economy. Food technology graduates, I know that you are present and well represented. It is on you to aid in the co-production of sustainable food systems. My manufacturing graduates, the country needs your help with diversification as we can no longer rely heavily on an oil and gas sector. In the words of the father of the nation, the late Dr. Eric Williams, the future of this nation is in the school bags of the children. I want to take this further. We are the future and we have what it takes to change this nation in our hands. Our degrees, our diplomas, our certificates must work for the continuous development of Trinidad and Tobago. As a community, we now have to pay forward our successes through service. Societal advancements can only be made through our application as work-ready graduates, innovators, and critical thinkers. We are noble brand ambassadors of UTT, and it is our responsibility to represent proudly and not discredit our beloved institution. We must defend UTT's name with our professional, ethical, and excellent work in our relevant industry, and always encourage others to enroll in the programs offered, thereby equipping them with world-recognized qualifications. As I conclude, this is the beginning of our evolution. We have all sacrificed, but if nothing, these years we have spent focusing can only warrant a celebration of rebirth. Grow through your metamorphosis. If nothing ever changed, there would be no butterflies. It is my hope that after listening to this message, you stand up tall and accept transposition, constitute shift and be the most powerful force for change on this planet. I am confident enough that you will remember everything you have learned and apply it to your life, including your national watchwords. Hopefully. Okay, I'll, I'll come down from there. Thank you for granting me the opportunity to be your valedictorian. I am sure we would like to thank our families and support systems, our fellow classmates, including the ones that did not contribute to group assignments our dedicated lecturers, administrative, and support staff. Many of us began at different points. Some have fallen along the wayside. Some are no longer here with us. We remember them and wish their souls continued rest. It is not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord. Today, we are leaving with bonds that would last a lifetime. Dear graduating classes of 2020 and 2021, no matter what part of the world we may go, wave the flag of UTT high. I leave you with this quote from author Janet S. Dickens. The wings of transformation are born through patience and struggle.
Congratulations. Congratulations to all of our honorees and all of our graduates. I now call upon the Chancellor to declare the ceremony closed. I wish to sincerely congratulate the newly graduated members of our society on their achievement, and I now declare the ceremony closed. We've come to the end of today's proceedings. So, on behalf of the Chairman of the Board of Governors of the University of Trinidad and Tobago, Professor Clement Imber, the President, Professor Prakash Prasad, and faculty and staff of the university, we wish to congratulate all of our honorees and all of our newly minted graduates. Congratulations, and we wish you well. Thank you. Thanks.